Hello, my name is Yvonne Blanco. I'm an insurance advisor. I work at Insurance Advisors Direct as a broker manager. I want to say thank you to all the agents that are joining us today. Hopefully I can go ahead and give you some selling tips um, and just have you kind of think of, oh, I didn't think of that before on how to reach people in the dual SNP market. Um, we're going to go ahead and identify uh, some community and area services, learn how to build, how to educate, engage, and then verify with providers on uh, your, your clients. So um, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, share my screen so we can go ahead and get started on our presentation. This will be kind of short and sweet. Uh, my idea is to go ahead and give you a really umbrella kind of overview of all of the possibilities. If there's something in there that you uh, would like to try or I've not thought of that, please reach out to me and then we'll go ahead and work on a specific marketing idea for you. So that way it works um, with your flow, how you're engaging in the community. And we go ahead and do marketing pieces here that are uh, specific for agents. Um, I do have uh, different flyers that can help, uh, but we'll go over that uh, in, these, uh, in these slides. So hopefully um, I can go ahead and uh, bring that some things to your awareness that maybe you weren't using before. So let's see here. All right, hopefully everyone can see my screen. <laughs> and, uh, and if you do have questions, you know, you can go ahead and just, um, you know, make sure that uh, you go ahead and put it in the chat box. I'll go ahead and snap back out and uh, try to answer those. If not, my email and contact information will be um, there for you at the end of the slides. So you can go over um, any questions you might have. So first, you know, these are the topics that I think, um, you know, kind of instead of looking at it a wide range, uh, we could go ahead and see, you know, identifying community and area resources. Uh, what does that look like? Um, how do you build relationships? Um, basically educating those partners that you have engaged with. Um, and then of course, engaging with the actual prospects that are there. And then um, how do you verify? You know, it's, it's very important that you keep in mind um, individuals, providers that they're, do, that they're working with, that they're comfortable with. Uh, we don't wanna see a lot of switching and um, having them bounce from plan to plan. So if you can be the, the constant, right, for them, then they'll come to you for answers and uh, they'll have, um, you know, someone to guide them through. So some of the top ideas for the marketing in the dual SNP area, obviously community-based organizations, um, food banks, there's a lot of agents that go there, but it's not uh, the only place you can go. Uh, community, if you volunteer within the community, there's a lot of uh, individuals that will go and maybe help, um, you know, uh, box food for individuals uh, that are getting um, assistance through these programs. If you're working um, in an area where a doctor keeps popping up or maybe um, a, a dentist, you can always send your information to that office and let them know that you are there to help guide those individuals to, to maybe um, know that the doctor's available in that area. Um, you know, obviously knowing about your local, state and federal entities. Uh, geographic marketing, um, you want to go ahead and, and maybe if you are in a certain area that you're already working, um, you know, we do provide events for agents through uh, whether it's a CBS or an Oak Street. And in that area, you might want to go ahead and just kind of drive around, see what's going on in that uh, geographic, um, you know, area that you're working on. Um, so if there's... Um, you know, retail stores or laundromats of, of that nature, you can always put flyers there um, and just to, for people to kind of find you. Um, of course, the uh, uh, associations, uh, faith-based organizations, uh, local retailers are very important. Um, these are a lot of 
of things I think brokers kind of miss the point of how do I find these places? And just to kind of introduce that you are there to help guide individuals that might have questions and they just don't even know what benefits are available for them. Um, of course, there's a senior centers and um, a lot of the uh, Goodwill stores. Um, I, I do know that some of the thrift stores ask for a lot of volunteers there as well. So that might be something that you can go ahead and look at. Um, for senior expos and health fairs, I do wanna let you guys know that if you are doing an event, uh, we do have um, tablecloths here, uh, giveaways. You know, uh, the dual market is really big on giveaways. So you might wanna have um, some of those. If you don't, please reach out to us so we can go ahead and help you with any of the events that you might be uh, looking to get started and how do you do that? Um, obviously, uh, we'll go ahead and guide you on how to set up events and, and stuff of that nature. So engaging with the DSNIP prospects locally, you know, um, to be able to identify and educate your partners. So when you do find an organization that you're gonna start working with, it's really important to um, tell that partner, you know, how it is that you're gonna be educating, what is the service you're gonna be providing for people that are gonna be coming to their facility. So you're an extension of their service, basically. So, you know, it, when, when you can kind of get over that barrier or maybe even uh, the apprehensiveness of, of a organization having a broker there and you're coming at it from a service perspective, they're more receptive to letting you go in there. Um, again, you know, engaging with the prospects, uh, understanding what their needs are. Do they need that dental work? Do they need hearing aids? You know, something of that nature, um, understanding what their needs are and then plugging them in to those uh, carriers that provide those benefits is what we do, right? So um, obviously when you connect with one uh, community resource, they'll go ahead and refer you to another one. And I'm sure that a lot of you that have worked in the community um, will, uh, will eventually hear, oh, you know, this organization needs help or we're gonna have this event. Could you go ahead and come in and help our individuals that are gonna be here? A lot of the church groups are starting to open up now, uh, which is nice. So, uh, and going outside, um, you know, a lot of these um, um, organizations will have uh, and are, are seeing that they are trying to have brokers maybe set up like a tent or a table um, outside in their parking lot where members can just kind of ask questions, um, get reviews, and then of course, building those relationships. That's very important to answer those questions, let them feel comfortable with asking you, um, you know, questions that maybe the carrier is telling them, but they don't understand. So key sales points, you know, to build your decent market, obviously it's important to focus on these two techniques, grassroots marketing, and of course your customer service. Um, the grassroots marketing is just, you know, driving around, introducing yourself, maybe passing out flyers, whether it's a high rise, a community center, what is it that you can provide to that community or that organization as this service? Um, a lot of times, people that are in the dual SNP market, they don't know what it is that they're eligible for, they don't know what the benefits are, and they definitely don't know how to get a hold of you. So keeping in mind that you're creating this bridge on how they can go ahead and, and find you, so that way you can provide those services and answer some of these questions. Um, there are, you know, definitely effective strategies to reach the decent population and gain referrals. I tell people all the time, if you're not in the dual SNP market, I respect that, but know that in your book of business that you have existing right now, that person that you're helping in their 360, they're going to have someone that's on Medicaid. I'm not saying, you know, 100%, but I'm pretty sure, you know, uh, there's gonna, they're gonna know someone that's going to be on Medicaid and Medicare. And wouldn't that just strengthen your relationship with your book of business if you're helping someone that's already a client of yours and you're now helping their sister or their neighbor or their uncle that is on Medicare, Medicaid. Um, so you're having this well-rounded 
you know, um, service that you're providing, not just to your, your immediate client, but now the rings that are um, in their lives as well. And it helps kind of retain your individuals there too. Word of mouth is absolutely key when it comes to the dual SNPs. You help one individual in their community and they will tell their friends, uh, their family, uh, and especially if you're working with any of the church groups that are out there. So obviously to keep in mind, you want to make sure that you follow those CMS guidelines in the MA sales uh, and make sure that you get your scope of appointments. Uh, we do have uh, consent to contact little small little cards that you guys uh, can go ahead and communicate or ask for, for either uh, some from me or from the carriers. Um, but those don't count as a scope of appointment, okay? So make sure that you keep your scope of appointments. Some of the carriers aren't requiring it anymore, but it doesn't mean us as a broker um, do not need to keep those. We still do. Um, obviously, if you have questions on scheduling events, uh, please let me know. I will say it's a good idea to get into the practice to schedule your events about 14 days before the event with the carrier. Again, if you have questions, if you need that uh, spreadsheet in order to um, register your events, definitely email me. I will guide you through that. Uh, once you do it, you'll just be so comfortable and, and, and know how to do it uh, from then on. Keep your message simple and clear when you're talking to uh, dual individuals. Um, when you start kind of getting really into the weeds of care and stuff, they, they might get a little bit overwhelmed. Just slow it down, keep it very simple. Um, obviously building trust is the key and you know, sharing, um, you know, maybe you're obviously you're gonna have the, your business cards, um, letting them know when the hours that you'll be contacting them make sure that you're gonna be going uh, to contact them after they become enrolled. Um, you know, just make sure that you have that open rapport and communication with your clients. Um, focus discussion on planned benefits and reinforce that current benefits are unaffected. So read that again, basically, and I know a lot of us that deal with people that have Medicaid when you introduce a plan, they will say, don't touch my Medicaid. I don't, want, I don't want you touching my Medicaid. And so it's very important that we let them know that their plan benefits that they're getting right now won't be affected. Now, there are some when, say for instance, they were paying zero for the prescription drugs and now they have this um, copay, you know, up to $3.70 or some change, right? Um, $8, it depends on what their prescription is. Um, that is something that a broker, you know, as, as we educate them and say, look, you are now getting $310 per quarter to spend at uh, CVS, you know, this is saving you that much money. And so, the dollars that you're paying for your prescription is kind of an offset, right? So maybe educating them on that. Um, always do a follow-up call to discuss and reinforce those benefits. Um, once they get on the plan on the first, it is really important to just, whether it's a letter you wanna sign that, send them, a nice little postcard we can create uh, together so you can go ahead and just get into the habit of Whenever you have someone effective, you mail that out. Um, if they have questions to kind of reach out to you. Uh, remember that you may be the first and only agent these clients have ever had. And it's important to remember that you can affect someone's health and their lifestyle if you're not putting them on the right plan. So just taking you know, all that into consideration, um, how we help individuals in this market. And of course, always remember to ask them to refer. You know, Drop off a multiple of your business cards if you wanna make little flyers, little brochures, or just a little magnet that they can go ahead and have and just ask them for, for them to refer you. So here's a, a couple of other areas that I think brokers might either have forgotten or maybe are not practicing. So if you consider social media right now, 
Um, there are Facebook ads that you guys can look into. Um, when somebody is searching, everyone's got a smartphone, even if you're a, on, a, on a Medicaid. Um, they'll be searching in their areas and maybe, you know, some nice little ad to, to remind them that they have us at their fingertips to go ahead and answer health questions. Um, you can add slicks in local papers or some of the, um, I guess they're like the little shopper papers. Those are kind of nice to put something in there as well. Uh, I know a lot of us might read the newspaper or a lot of our ads on our phone, but in this demographic, they still gravitate towards paper, which is why a lot of our dual SNP agents still require or ask us for kits, right? Because we, we still like the book. It's a lot easier for them to see and understand. And in some of these areas, maybe you don't wanna be lugging around your, your laptop. Um, Face-to-face educational and marketing meetings are key, not just in the DSNP world, but also in the MAPD world. So to keep in mind here at IAD, we have Medicare 101 presentations. Um, so if you need one that maybe you'd like to have um, in, in, you know, just to save. So if you ever have these educational marketing meetings, you could go ahead and use um, our Medicare 101 platform. Direct mail obviously uh, can be effective. Uh, that is when you're mailing out these postcards, letting them know that they can qualify for additional benefits. Um, we do lead drops here for agents. We help agents with lead drops. It's really important to make sure that the card that is being mailed is targeted and based on Medicaid criteria. Um, and I can help explain on those as well. Uh, tabletop giveaways. We just talked about that. Uh, a lot of the, the uh, dual SNPs, um, you know, they do like those little giveaways, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, um, hand sanitizer or lotion or lip balm or uh, jar openers, uh, whatever it is, masks, of course, we have now. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. It kind of brings them, if you're doing an event and you have them on the table, it brings them over to you, right? Because you can't lunge out and say, hey, excuse me, right? You, you can say hi, obviously, when you're at the table, but you can't, uh, you know, say, hey, come on over here. So we want to have uh, something on the table that calls them out over to us. Um, one of the ideas that uh, some of the brokers have that has been very successful is to get one of those, you know, like a little straw basket. You go ahead and maybe purchase as you're purchasing items from CVS that might be on the over-the-counter catalog for some of these carriers. Um, you can go ahead and put boxes in there, you know, just the empty boxes. Have your own little basket that looks like a gift basket put some cellophane on it and put that on your table. And so many people will come over and they'll say, oh, that looks like a, an adult basket, right? Or whatever it is that they'll just come over and how do I get this basket? And then obviously there you can go ahead and start um, educating them on the, all the benefits that some of the carriers can have. Um, and, and if they have questions, you know, please fill out the scope of appointment. I'd love to explain how you can also um, get all of these items that are in this basket. So that was short and sweet. I hope uh, I, you know, jogged uh, some things up there and the thoughts and ideas. And, uh, you know, I love brainstorming with agents. Um, I love, I love uh, being able to help in our community. So if um, there is, um, I wanna see if there's any questions or if anyone has any questions, please put them in your chat box. Um, we have, I love meeting with agents and brainstorming on marketing ideas that are specific to the agent. Everybody has a, their own individual take on how they want to market. Um, my, uh, I guess, um, gift, forte, focus is to get to know the agents, help you to go ahead and branch out and, and just kind of make that bridge to the people that are in our community and to the agents so we can go ahead and provide that service that we do. It's an important work that we do. So I hope you enjoyed um, the webinar. Again, my name is Yvonne Blanco. I work here at Insurance Advisors Direct. And I hope that uh, I was able to, you know, um, yes, Heidi, <laughs> thank you for coming. And yes, the 101 Medicare presentation, uh, please email me and I will go ahead and um, set that uh, over to you. 
All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone. And I hope you have a great weekend.